Hey, Mark Rice here. Every minute I'm trying to spend outside as much as I can. Then I grab my phone and see you likes, comments and support and the day gets even better. So this is tutorial for you. And if you want download my illustrations, use my tools and colors, just check out the links below. So let's start. Okay, so first I will start with the basic shape of the head. So pick up the skin color, hit them on the keyboard and draw the rectangle. I usually pick up blue or grey color for the glasses. Now I'll try something with these green colors here. Look at these colors. And I think that it will be cool. So now I will draw the square. Okay. And here I will show you my trick. Move it here. They're going to put finder. And eliminate all these unnecessary parts. And look at this. When I draw a face, usually I'm using rectangle and create something like this. But now I will show you a different way to do this. And you can use face like this if you want to create a superhero or a strong guy or something like that. Okay, that's it. Now I will draw the ears with the rectangle and I can pick up darker color for it. Move it here, send to back. Okay, then here for the hair I will use purple color. Okay, copy this circle, move it here, then copy it around the big circle. Okay, I can use 20 degrees for it and hit the copy button. Repeat the process with Ctrl plus D. I made a mistake here, but it will be okay. Like I said, it's okay now. Uh, yeah, move it here, select together with ears and send to back. Now sunglasses, so I will create black circle, then I will copy, change the size and the new shape will be grey, something like this. And here as I said before, I will try something with new colors, so I create a few rectangles, let me check, ok, mm, not bad, but I can switch these colors. Okay, something like this. Okay. Okay, now I'll select the green shapes together with this gray circle. Use the white tool. And group it and delete these shapes. Okay. Group it, copy it. And that's it. Here you can draw one more rectangle if you want. If you don't want, it's okay. You don't need to do that. Okay. Group the shapes and move it here. And I love to create big sunglasses. It's much better in my opinion. Now I'll use a semicircle for the mouth. Okay, and I will use white color for it. I'm drawing like a blind person now with white colors, but I know my shapes, okay, cool, and I need nose here, maybe I can change the size for the hair, something like this, so I need to create some kind of face reflection here, so copy the basic shape of the face, Change the size and change the color. Okay, and I can change the color for the nose. Hmm, maybe I can use different colors for the face. Okay, not bad. Yes. And here I will create a highlight for the hair. 
So copy the shape and use the basic shape of the hair. I will try to find good color here for it. Okay, we can try with this one. A few circles here. Okay, cool. I just finished the head. Now the body. So, hmm, maybe I can start with the arms. Okay, something like this. This will be the lower part of the arm. Here I will change these corners and this one. Okay, cool. Now I will copy this shape. And all these corners will be rounded. So I'll fix that. Okay, cool. I will separate this shape with the pathfinder. And for this part, I will use red color. Okay, not bad. And maybe I can add some shadow here or later. I think that later is better because I want to show you how to create a basic movement of the character. And then you can add more shadows and things like that if you want. Okay, now I can rotate it, change the size for the upper part of the arm, something like this. I will change the size, I just want to try to fit this arm with the head. Okay, we will see. Now I will copy this arm and use it for the second arm. Okay, so here I will cut one part of the arm. And I will do that with the rectangle. And this is the great way to make space for second arm. Now, I'll copy this lower part, rotate it and move it here. Okay, and look at this. Okay, so first I need to find the right position. Beautiful. And now I can change this angle here, change the size, so I just created a hand, okay, and that's it. And later you can change the size if you want and fit it even better. I can move the arm here, it's much better, believe me, you will see. Okay, now when I have the arms, I can draw the font here. Okay, something like this. It will be big font. Maybe tablet, I don't know. We will see. I will use yellow color for it and make these corners round. Here, I'll create this shape and use light yellow color for it. In that way we will achieve the angle of the phone. Okay, here I can create something like a glow with the white color. And here I can add camera. And here I can create one more rectangle and it will be the thumb. And I will use darker color for it. Okay, something like this. Make this corner round. Not all the corners, just this one. Okay. And send to back. Beautiful. Here I can add one more rectangle and create a cool watch. It will be black. And here I will use the same green color like I use it for the sunglasses. This part will be white. Okay, group these shapes. Okay, now the body. So 
send to back. And I can fix this part and hide it with new objects. So here I will create one black rectangle. It will be one part of the handbag, something like that. Copy it, move it here. Okay, cool. I will drop these shapes. Now the legs. So there is rectangle for it and blue color. Okay, I love this combination of the colors. Send to back. And here I will create some kind of shadow. So I will use dark blue for it. And now it's time for legs. So basically I will create one leg and copy it for the second leg. Okay, so first I will create the rectangle for the leg. And it will be rounded rectangle. Then here I will create some kind of glow. So I'll copy the shape, move it here, change the color and change the size. Beautiful. I need a shadow here. I'll change the size and later I will fix that. Okay, beautiful. I need one more shape. It will be purple. Send to back. And I need one more for the shoes. I will use black color for it. Send to back and fix this part here. Let me check. Yes, it's much better. Here I will create a few details. Okay, now I'll group these shapes. And here I can add one more detail and use this beautiful green color for it. But I don't need this lower part here, so I will copy the purple background. Control C, Control F, select together with the green shape and use the white in the pathfinder, ungroup and delete everything except this green shape. And here I can add a glow. That's it. Now I'll group the shapes, change the size and move it here. Now copy the leg, move it here, select it together with the blue parts and send to back. And here as you can see I have same colors, because of that I can use shadow. Okay, something like this. Okay, basically that's it. Now I can add an environment and maybe I can play with shadows a bit. So. First, I can do something here. I will copy this red part, Control C, Control F, hold Shift and move it here. Okay. Now I will copy the lower part of the upper part of the <laughs> arm. Control C, Control F, change the color. Okay, send to back. Now I'll set the copy at shapes and use minus front tool. And here as you can see I got this beautiful shadow. Okay, here I can add the detail but with the rounded rectangle. And I can repeat this process here on the second arm. Okay, beautiful. Here I can add one more shape. Group the shapes and here 
I can add the wall sent back. I can draw a few bricks. And maybe I can create something in the background. Something like this. And basically that's it. Okay, and if you want to go a few steps further and learn even more or just hang out with me on a daily basis, become part of this incredible list here. You will be able to watch my exclusive video tutorials and become part of the private community. This will be game changer for you if you are serious about your creative future. So take action right now and do something good for you and your family. And remember, stay tuned because the best is yet to come. Peace.